Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is a pick a card on what you can expect during this solar eclipse in Aries and Mercury retrograde, I believe in Taurus, okay? Don't hold me to that, but I believe in Taurus. You guys can check for yourself, but I know we're having simultaneously a, a solar eclipse and a Mercury retrograde, okay? So what can you expect during these phases? We have three piles, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number one, we have this agate crystal with hydromancy illusion. Pile number two, we have this opal star with shooting star confirmation. And pile number three, we have this fuchsite crystal with palmistry interpretation. So I'll give all my dreamy dreamers a few moments to meditate on your pal. Okay, so again, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your readings. Bye. Hey, pile number ones, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this brown agate stone as your crystal selection with hydromancy illusion okay so ulti ultimately off bat pile number ones what i'm getting um what you can expect during this solar eclipse and mercury retrograde are a lot of almost like how can i put it a lot of almost like stranger than fiction things happening to you okay um, I know that might, don't get alarmed, right? I know that might sound like kind of off-putting, but what I mean is what hydromancy illusions, I think things might be occurring and it feels stranger than fiction, but in reality, it's, it is like this illusory thing happening, um, because of these transits, right? So, some of you all could even like be be experiencing like sleep paralysis or like really vivid dreams that you don't it's almost like am i dreaming or did that actually happen you know there could also be like messages involved um in relation to what you are kind of like interpreting right but one thing I am getting very clearly, pile number one, is as long as you meditate and stay grounded, maybe even keeping this type of agate crystal on you, maybe underneath your pillow, if you are having like intense or vivid dreams, everything will be okay. And like, you won't be phased by whatever like type of dreams or like, um, almost like these optical illusions or even, um, what is that called when like people are in the desert or, like mirages, so to speak, right? That's that's just what I'm getting very strongly, pile number ones. I do want to read a little bit from this guidebook, The Divinations of the Ancients with Hydromancy. So it says... You may receive an offer that sounds too good to be true. Remember that appearances can be deceptive. Don't be fooled by enticing words and promises as they could lure you into false hope. Your dreams will be realized, but not through this particular channel. Instead, call upon your spiritual sight, your clairvoyance, clear seeing to enable you to see the full picture. When you shine light into the situation, areas of darkness will be revealed. Do not be scared, but be relieved for you have been saved from drowning in dangerously dark and murky waters. Tread water for a while and soon enough your wishes will be answered. And it says other divinatory, other divinatory meanings. The person or situation in question is not reliable. Don't share your ideas with 
another at this time. You have the gift of spiritual sight. Trust what you see. Take a shower or bath to clear your clean to clear and cleanse your energy field. So, for most of you guys, what I'm getting here isn't that you can't really trust important people around you because that's kind of what it's insinuating or like you might not be able to trust a particular person at this time or like let's say we're talking about mercury retrograde because that's when exes come back or people from our past come back those people might there might be illusion they might be illusion based excuse me but what i'm really getting is your auric field is really open right now because a lot of you all might be tarot readers. Some of you all might even be like just clairvoyant seers, whether you read tarot or not. You're just like huge energy conduits. And it's a really good time to like ground yourself, take spiritual baths, uh, soak in a tub with Epsom salt, uh, like i.e. salt baths, right? Um, meditate a lot you know because i feel like you're getting a lot of um you're you're getting a lot of energy kind of like you're almost like a hub so i feel like you just yeah you need to cleanse your aura but let's pull some heavenly body astrology cards to get a deeper insight into what you can expect during this solar eclipse slash mercury retrograde Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. What can our pile number ones expect during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What can our pile number ones expect during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, beautiful. So our first card is sextile, and it says a combination of tension and flow, potential, and a rewarding situation. I love this. The second card that popped out is the north node, and it says destined to have. This is beautiful, pile number ones. And then we have the ninth house with spiritual growth. Like I just said, you guys are very open. I'm not getting anything negative when it comes to this card here what i'm getting more so is because a lot of the a lot of you all who chose pile number ones have spiritual inclinations whether you know know this or not whether you practice it or not right so you don't necessarily have to be a tarot reader or like read energy you might not even be too aware of these spiritual gifts and those of you who are um it's time to protect and shield yourself from a lot of transitory energies that could be coming in and out of you. I just seen 11, 11 on the clock too. So uh, bottom of the deck, Pisces, intimacy, intuition, and compassion. Some of you all might be Pisces and this hydromancy card spoke about waters, right? Murky, deep waters. So a lot of you all could be experiencing intense emotions at this time as well. Even if you aren't a Pisces or don't have uh, many Pisces placement in your charts, some of you, some of your ninth house might be in Pisces or some of you all's north node may be in Pisces as well. And your south node might be in Virgo. But um, yeah, that's basically what I'm getting pile number ones. Let's pull some tarot to go deeper. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. Thank you for providing clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What can pile number ones expect during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde? What can our pile number ones, thank you, expect during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde? So let's see. Three cards came out. We have the sun. Beautiful. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles. Oh my gosh, pile number one is gorgeous. So we also have the ninth house as well. Nine, nine could be wrapping up a cycle and the sun. It is card number 19. So nine, nine, nine. Some of you all could be seeing the angel number nine, nine, nine a lot. And we have the seven of swords. Let's pull two more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What can our pile number ones expect during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde? 
Okay, so you guys got three more cards. We're taking them. All right, so let's see. So three cards that fell out. Six of pentacles. Just fabulous pile number ones. I did not expect this. We have the six of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the nine of cups. I'm just going to put that up here. We'll move these out of the way too. So what a beautiful spread. So pile number ones, what I'm getting is this solar eclipse is about to almost like catapult you into the direction of wish fulfillment here, especially with this nine of cups. Okay. Again, nine, we officially have nine, nine, nine house nine, nine of pentacles and the nine of cups. What did I say? So yeah, you all are wrapping up a cycle and it's like you're wrapping it up for good. And on top of everything, pile number ones, there is this beautiful light that is being shown on yourself and your independence right now. Do not let your mind play tricks on you. The best way to combat um, illusions, right? Illusory type of um, happenings is to stay grounded. So that might mean carrying more crystals on you than you usually do, or that could even mean meditating more basking in the sunlight okay could be very healing as well but what i'm also getting for you pile number ones is there's a, there's a lot of beauty coming in i feel like you could feel very optimized by airy season two which reminds me of the sun some of you all could um be leos as well but i feel like you just feel this like beautiful sense of independence and it's something about the springtime and this solar eclipse happening during the spring right now that is going to catapult you into this wish fulfillment that you've been asking for i feel like a lot of things are balancing out in your life as well with the six of pentacles and you're going to be receiving everything that you Whatever you put out right now, you're going to get back tenfold, okay? And I have a feeling that not only are you guys balancing out a lot of like your energies, but you're transmuting them. And um, right when the solar eclipse and Mercury retrograde happens, I have a feeling that um, I feel like particularly your pile, pile number one, you guys are going to be shown a lot of grace with this Mercury retrograde and solar eclipse and a lot of abundance, a lot of beauty, a lot of prosperity. Um, I feel like you also could, this could be because something that was taken from you, something that was stolen from you. But I feel like also your external environment is going to be very lush and beautiful but be conscientious of your mind. Don't allow your mind to play tricks on you again. I know I keep perpetuating that statement, but it's just, it keeps coming in. So we have not, we have three pentacle cards here too. Very abundant cards. You could be seeing an influx in your income as well, pile number ones. And I feel like a lot of you all have been wishing for this influx in your prosperity. So this is very beautiful and you're headed towards, you know, where you've been hoping to go and where you've been wishing to go as well. Also, bottom of the deck, we have the king of pentacles. So I feel like either you are mastering the material world in regards to like your finances um, or there could be a very generous person near and dear to you who is kind of like orchestrating um, or facilitating this abundance to come into your life. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's pull some more cards, some last cards, advice, guidance, and wisdom. Advice, guidance, and wisdom spirit for our pile number ones to conclude their reading. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for pile number ones to conclude their reading. But yeah, again, 999, very prevalent. Um, also, like, I feel like you guys are really just going to be basking in 
abundance. I just keep saying that. And it, it's a wish fulfillment coming in. Just I'm just very shocked to you guys. What a beautiful reading. <laughs> okay. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude our part number one's reading. Thank you. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude our pile number one's reading. Okay. So we have card number 37 with never ending story. Be conscientious of the stories that you tell um, yourself in regards to your situation right now, pile number ones, because I feel like literally whatever you give out, you're going to get back. It's almost like things are being sped up for you. So I have a feeling like, again, wait, is that nine? No, that's 10. Okay. I was about to say three and yeah, three and seven, we have 10. So one and zero, that is one. So I feel like there's a brand new beginning that you might, I feel like there's some type of story being perpetuated. And I feel like the advice is not to overthink is what I'm getting. Don't overthink whatever is happening or not happening because the things that you want are coming into play. Pile number ones. Let's see. We have card number 11 by the book in the beginning of the reading. I did see 11, 11 on the clock too. So I feel like things are becoming systematic. Like order is being um produced here well by the book i always think of the hierophant card i don't know why just like systematic you know systems um what else convention by the book like the rules right maybe maybe you're frustrated at yourself a little bit pile number ones or will be frustrated by yourself because Something about like following the rules, maybe like you're starting to realize, look, in order to be successful, I have to do things in a systematic way. And I feel like this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde could be kind of like showing that to you, but also you could be a little frustrated by delays because of the Mercury retrograde more so. But I feel like if you just stay consistent and don't let these delays get to you, don't overthink them, then everything will start to become more streamlined. You just have to persist in the face of slight adversity, okay, at this time. We have at the bottom of the deck, card number two, Yin. A lot of you all could like be in your feminine essence or just be open to receiving is also what I'm getting here, okay? Like as advice. I do want to pull one more card for you all before we end your reading. One more card, Spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude our pile number one's reading. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude pile number one's reading. I'm going to take this card. I love this card number 27 exchanging gifts again nine so something is coming something is wrapping up and I feel like I keep saying whatever you give you're going to get back and this is what I this is what I'm interpreting with this exchanging gifts card you know I feel like whatever you do and whatever you think or whatever you um however much you put into something right now will grow and will be prosperous, pile number ones, okay? So don't let the illusions of whatever's happening uh, around you get to you. Keep working because you are really working towards mastery of the material plane. And I'm getting like all systems are, you know, all systems a go. Keep going because you're doing a brilliant job, okay? But with that being said, my lovely dreamy dreamers, I love you all so much. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, if you're interested in a beautiful tarot journal, look no further. The link will be provided in the description box below. It's only 20 bucks and Amazon will ship it straight to your house or wherever you would like to receive this beautiful um, tarot journal. Okay, so again, link in the description box down below. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos. Welcome back to your reading. So you all either chose this really pretty opal star as your...
crystal selection and or the shooting star ironically enough with confirmation so pile number twos you all actually got two cards so shooting star and you got spells alchemy so initially what i'm getting in regards to your pile selections with your crystal is whatever you have been uh affirming to yourself and like almost like reestablishing through affirmations or like just through a positive self-talk or self-concept is working and your prayers have been heard and are about to be answered. I feel like you're a true master manifester pile number twos and like, I don't know if you've just been practicing for a very long time or, you know, you have just been, um, just been constantly reiterating certain things to yourself, but whatever you have been saying to yourself is working. And like this reading is a confirmation to you that like your prayers or your hopes and dreams are about to be fulfilled and answered during this solar eclipse, Mercury retrograde season. Okay. And here's a confirmation also with this card and spells alchemy that if you haven't been speaking the best to yourself lately start doing that because as soon as you kind of get into the groove of like positive self-talk or affirmations they'll start working like instantaneously so let's see let's delve deeper into what you can expect during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing this deck. What can our pile number twos expect during this solar eclipse Mercury retrograde? Wow. Okay. So y'all seen that. So we're just going to take these cards. I don't know how many came out. Three. Perfect. So we have Virgo with integrity, reverence, and service. We have Mercury, ironically enough, with Think, Learn, Network, and Communicate. And we have the second house with physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Exactly. So again, positive affirmations. And I feel like you could be affirming that you want to be a better uh a better um like person of service like i want to give more i want to do more i want x amount of dollars so i can make sure that my family is secure and so i can take care of my community things of that nature is what i'm getting with virgos because virgos are work horses <laughs> you know i'm sorry if that is like politically incorrect to say but like when I think of Virgos, I think of like a very strong work ethic, right? And I also get with Virgos, they're work horses, but it's never just for them. It's always for like the cause or a cause or like a community. It's never just for for Virgo's sake. I don't think they're as kind of like, they're more selfless, right? Because when it comes to Virgos, they're the virgins and uh they are they are huge on acts of service and paying reverence and doing things with integrity um i used to have a virgo friend who would say do it for the money and the love will come i mean do it for the <laughs> do it for the money do it for the love and the money will come so to me that's just quintessential virgos right so also some of you all's uh uh, Mercury could be in the sign of Virgo or your second house could be in the sign of Virgo. So like you're going to be maybe even taking on a lot of Virgo characteristics during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde season in the ways in which you communicate and in the ways in which you communicate your physical security needs, your possession, your self-worth, right? So that could be through affirmations. That could also be through taking care of your body, getting really like good sustenance and nutrients, maybe taking supplements because Virgos, they're all about like the holistic approach when it comes to, you know, um, their health. So that could be one 
uh, one thing or one avenue that you can be taking um, this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde pile number twos. But I feel like you all are going to start maybe even reading more, learning more, maybe even learning how to better communicate with the people around you as well. Oh, also, I wanted to show you this bottom of the deck, Earth. So we have persistence, patience, and practicality. I feel like even during this solar eclipse, and I hear it's a solar eclipse in the sign of Aries. We are in Aries season. So um, I feel like you're just going to be very like practical. You, you're really going to want to get down to business. And I feel like what's going to really take you to that, give you that extra kind of like, um, give you that extra oomph or that extra push towards the right direction is kind of like being more practical in regards to how you implement certain like practices or certain things that you do. But I feel like pile number two is you will be very persistent in what you do during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde. And with that comes, you know, really beautiful things. So let's pull some tarot to delve deeper into the message. Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. It's kind of late. I usually never film readings at night, but I'm doing it today. So let's see. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving our pile number twos clear, concise, accurate messages on what to expect during the solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde. What can our pile number twos expect during the solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde? All right. Thank you. So we have three cards so far. We have card number 16, the tower. This is my, one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's just so hilarious to me. We have the 10 of cups. I love it. We have the five of pentacles. This kept peeking out too. So let's see. Two more cards, spirit. Okay. We have the four of cups. One more card, spirit. Okay, and we have the Four of Swords. Very interesting. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the King of Cups. So, pile number two. Some of you all could be experiencing a very stark change come this solar eclipse, which is what solar eclipses are all about, right? They place emphasis on change. So... Again, some of you all can be experiencing very stark change during the solar eclipse in Mercury retrograde. And it could be a change in the levels of like emotional fulfillment or contentment that you have been feeling, right? Um, I feel like you're, you're becoming more clear on the things that you maybe might lack at this time and how it's affecting your overall happiness, right? Especially with that Ten of Cups here. But I feel like count your blessings. That That's just what I'm getting, pile number two, is count your blessings. Continue to affirm what you want and not give in too much to this 3D reality, okay? So let's say, you know, you want that family and that house with the white picket fence, so to speak, right? I can't think of another analogy right now. Visualize it. Continue to allow, to continue to tell yourself that you have it, you know? Begin with the end in mind. Don't, don't, um victimize yourself because you feel like you don't you aren't where you want to be or you don't have the things that you want 
as of this moment, right? And you know what's interesting, pile number um, twos, and I don't know if this happened in pile number ones as well, and I don't, maybe, okay, so it's a star right here, but I was going to say maybe um, it's because it's a pentacle, so okay, it is. But I was just going to say you guys have the star, and then there's like a star right up here, which I thought was very serendipitous. But yes, long story short, pile number twos, there's going to be an immense change in maybe like your family dynamic or something like that. And um, I feel like you, you just really have to count your blessings. People are really here for you. People really love you. You could be feeling kind of like lethargic or tired uh, or you just need to rest, right? With the four of swords here. But with the four of cups here, I feel like, you know, people really... Um, are really working to give you what you want, but you have to pay attention to the positive, um, the positive in life and not the negative. Don't victimize yourself because that's what I'm getting. And it could be lack of sleep or it could be like, um, yeah, like you needing to rest. And that's why maybe you've you will kind of want to err more on the side of negativity or pessimism, really not. I don't, I guess negativity and pessimism live on the same street, right? But um, don't victimize yourself right now. And the best way you can do that, meaning to not victimize yourself, is to count your blessings. Because I feel like things are changing for the better in your life. It's just like you have to wait until they materialize, so to speak. But I feel like um, also with the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, you are mastering your emotions at this time. And the best way to do that is to constantly continue to affirm what it is that you want instead of the things that you don't want. One thing about Virgos, I will say, is that... Um, Virgos tend to overthink and overanalyze. So you could be falling into that trap as well, pile number twos. I do, let's, let's, I want to clarify this five of pentacles for you because I haven't clar clarified a card yet, but I do want to clarify this. Okay, so these two cards came out, the six of pentacles and the three of wands. Yeah, you're waiting for your ships to come in, basically. You're waiting for like this reciprocity, this abundance, someone to maybe help you out financially or like just some type of success. You're you're waiting on that. But you have to continue to to affirm, continue to do what you're doing because it's going to work out. I don't think you've seen it materialize yet and you're kind of just like waiting, you know. But I'm what I'm getting is perk up too, like perk up, like someone could be handing you exactly what you want, but because you're not paying attention to it, you're not like, you know, you're not like taking heed to what's actually being given to you at this time. Like utilize your resources, like realize that you have a lot of resources around you. So utilize them because Again, with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Wands clarifying this Five of Pentacles, you're kind of like victimizing yourself like, oh, why does nothing work out? Or why haven't, you know, the things I've been asking for, why aren't they here yet? But they're coming. They're literally coming. So there's no need to worry. But let's see here. Let's conclude your reading with some advice. Thank you, God. Thanks, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. For giving pile number twos clear, concise, accurate messages, advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude her, their reading. Hmm, got card number 49, observer. Observe your emotions right now. Observe your thoughts. I, I always get that uh, Bible quote, and I'm paraphrasing, but like, you want to watch, what is it? Crap. You want to like watch the, the the gates of your mind or something like that? I can't think right now about number twos. But what I'm getting is that, oh, this could also 
say this could also be translated as like observe the moon cycles right now like make sure you're kind of up to date on like your particular sign um maybe in mercury right like how is your sign gonna um how is your sign going to deal with these transits right whether it be the soul the solar eclipse or whether it be mercury retrograde how is your particular sign going to handle it or you know what is advised for your particular sign also someone could be keeping an eye on you very closely pile number twos and, and I'm also getting protect your energy right now, too, because maybe someone could be, like, keeping an eye on you so intently that it's, like, draining you a little. Tell me more, spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number twos. Advice, guidance, and wisdom. Okay. It's interesting because take a nap peeked out, but um, it didn't come out. So let's see. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number two, spirit. Okay. Yeah, we have co-create as well. So card number 40. So trust and have faith in spirit and know that spirit is answering your prayers right now. Talk to spirit, right? And you could talk to spirit in a multitude of ways. You can, um, you know, kind of like wish upon a star, talk to the night sky, things of that nature, right? And, um... Spirit is going to answer you. Like, really, I'm getting patience, okay? It even says, wait, where does it say patience? Okay. Oh, yeah, earth, bottom of the deck. Persistence, patience, and practicality. You're doing a great job, whatever it is that you're doing. Keep doing it for those of you all who are affirming yourself. But if you're not, start it now and continue to, like, just keep persisting in what it what it is that you're doing and your goals and you're going to get there pile number twos okay so that's all the time that i have for my lovely dreamy dreamers of pile number twos i love you all so much if you like this reading if it resonated please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today again if you're interested in a beautiful tarot journal look no further the link to this tarot journal will be in the description box below it's 20 bucks and Amazon will ship it straight to your house or wherever you, you know, want to receive it. Okay. So again, link for that tarot journal is in, is in the description box. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all either chose this Fushite crystal for your crystal selection and or palmistry with interpretation. Also, you guys are the second pile to have two cards we have dice gamble as well so i feel like pile number threes what to expect during this solar eclipse slash mercury retrograde is that something that you're interpreting or you're trying to translate or figure out about maybe your destiny or like the future is in and of itself a gamble to do. Like, how can I put this? Like you're rolling the dice on like your destiny with palmistry or the way you interpret your destiny, right? The way you in you're interpreting something here. Hmm. I feel like there's a lot of risk with the way in which you interpret something so be conscientious of that and and come to certain interpretations or conclusions even killed right even kiltered uh with an even disposition with a healthy balance and know that you don't all you don't need to play the martyr or to sacrifice yourself for a cause or a situation or people anything like that but that's one thing I'm getting that you need to expect during the solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde because signals could get crossed, so to speak. And the way you interpret something could be kind of risky. So just like, you know, like be aware of how you're interpreting things. OK, but let's delve deeper into this message. Um, 
starting with the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving pile number three is clear, concise, accurate messages. What should they expect during this solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde? You know, I'm just going to take it because they came out pretty, you know, pretty succinctly. So we have house six with establishing a foundation, health, daily life and practical details. We have Saturn with feel restricted, experience, struggle, learn hard, work and patience. And then we have fixed. And is this Saturn too? No, no, no. No, uh, thanks. Saturn is a cardinal sign, but um, it says stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. And dependability. I really like this pile number threes because what I'm getting here is that like because of this Saturn energy, or maybe even like where Saturn is placed in your chart. Um, you could feel restricted and like you're struggling against something, but I feel like it's all in how you interpret your situation or whatever situation that you might feel like you're in. Sorry, guys, I can't. This is looks crooked to me. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, sorry, y'all. I really hope this isn't crooked, but it is what it is. I can't fixate over it. But long story short, it looks very crooked again. Okay, there. It is what it is. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, long story short, it's, I feel like, yeah, wherever Saturn might be in your chart right now, or like your intuition because we have the owl here with Saturn, your intuition could be a little foggy or like you're not in or like maybe you're second guessing the way you you're interpreting something or your your intuition right now. Oh, my gosh. I just noticed these hands. Something could be like hands or like making something or your hands could be telling a story right now. Um and these are both right hands. So like, maybe like you have, look, yeah, this is so interesting. Okay, so like, I don't know if this is a slang or if this is just tr like kind of like a euphemism, but your right hand is supposed to be like a, a person or a thing that's very loyal to you, right? Like, oh yeah, this is my right hand. Like, this is my right hand. They usually say right hand man or right hand person, right? That's my go-to. That's that's the person that I go to or the thing that I always go to that I know is going to be dependable, right? And it says stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. Something, it's like you're, it's like you're interpreting like, can I depend on so-and-so or can I depend on this person? Are they my right hand? Like, this is what you're kind of like, this is what the Saturn, I mean, excuse me, the uh, solar eclipse slash um, Mercury retrograde is is kind of like sending in, in for you, pile number threes. And I feel like you think something is kind of risky, but in reality, it, it isn't. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way you're interpreting something right now. And it could be, you could feel like a little misled by how you're interpreting something, but I think that mis that misleading feeling might be coming because of this this retrograde, right? But again, you I feel like maybe even like something that was once stable, like this could even be a job or like some type of work situation. Um, that was like your right hand. You could always depend on it. Maybe you feel like, uh, what's going on? Like, can I depend on this? Like, um, have I been kidding myself, so to speak? Right. But what I'm getting Saturn, Saturn always reminds me of Capricorn, right? So I'm getting practicality within Saturn. And then we have the sixth house with practical details. So I feel like you're trying to be practical about something, but 
you're also emotionally invested in it. So it's making it hard. And you're really trying to come to a conclusive decision with your mind and your heart, both. But it, it's it's like, this is a gamble for you. Like, if I'm wrong about this, I'm I'm screwed type of feeling. That's what I'm getting here, pile number threes. But I don't think you are going to be wrong about it. I just think this is something you're heavily questioning right now because of the Mercury retrograde. But let's see. Let's... Let's see what Tarot has to say about this. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck. For giving pile number threes clear, concise, accurate messages. What can our pile number threes expect during this solar eclipse and Mercury retrograde transit? What can our pile... Okay, so we have Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's about investing in something, investing in something, okay? We have the lovers. What can our pile number threes expect during the solar eclipse slash Mercury retrograde? Okay. So we have the star. Yeah, wish fulfillment is coming in for you guys. We have the five of cups. And we have the page of swords. So let's see. With the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I, I feel like, okay, here's the thing. I feel like the, some of you all are kind of like a little worried or sad or disappointed Um in something not happening yet because you feel like I've invested so much time and energy into this person or this thing or this decision, right? Especially with the lover's card here. Um, and it's almost like this has to work, you know? Like that's the feeling that I'm getting. Like this is my right hand person. Like this is my right hand. This is like I can depend on this person. And if I can't or if this situation or you know fill in the blanks pile number threes does not pan out how i thought it was going to be like i'm going to be left kind of like high and dry although you you won't right now this could even be a relationship for some of you who you might be like oh if this relationship doesn't go how i need it to go then what am i going to do or like what's the alternative right and I only say that because in this particular five of cups, the, the two the two of cups are the ones that spill and the three of cups left remain standing up. And it's usually the other way around. So obviously for everyone, that's not going to apply. But for some of you, it might apply. Like you could be really banking on a relationship, maybe a commitment, especially with that 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Like maybe this is something you've just been wanting for quite some time right and you just want like long-term stability and commitment but i feel like maybe someone that could be you or that can be another person maybe your partner just ha have been also deliberating on their side too but with the page of swords i feel like you're protected and I say that because this particular page of swords is a hummingbird. And I feel like you're protected by like your angels, ancestors, and guides. You could be researching something or reading something, reading up on like what to do if something doesn't work out or like almost trying to find like an alternative approach. Like, well, you know, if this job doesn't work out, if I, if I stay, like, if I make sure that, like, I'm in, I remember, shit, crap, like, <laughs> this is probably telling, but, like, well, no, I think it's just more of, like, a kind of, like, an, um, a term, but, like, the classifieds, like, oh, I'm gonna go and, like, look, like, if this is a job, per se, sorry, Y'all, I'm kind of like all over the place. But if this is a job, you might just start looking again, you know, keep your options open is what I'm getting right. Like 
stay informed about something or someone. Someone could be watching you or keeping a close eye on you or like testing you too with this Page of Swords because Page of Swords is kind of like a trickster energy also, right? But I feel like whatever whatever happens, you're going to be, you're like ready for it. Like you're going to be okay because I don't want to say you're anticipating it, but it's almost like you're hoping for the best, expecting the worst, but you shouldn't be expecting the worst because I think it seems to me everything's going to be okay. But I feel like just because maybe in the past you've been kind of like, you've, you know, you've been hurt in the past and you've been disappointed in the past and you just really don't want to have to deal with that again. But you're up for whatever happens. You're like, look. I want this to work. To me, this has to work. But if it doesn't, what can I do? You know, as long as I stay informed or, or as long as I keep my wits about me, right, with the Page of Swords, I should be okay. So, yeah, pile number threes. But this has something to do with someone like who's your right hand is what I'm getting. Because I say right hand because, look, this is my right hand and the thumbs are facing the exact same way. So it's it's someone that's really close to you or something that's very stable and dependable um, that you're just, you're really maybe trying to exactly establish a foundation with, right? You're really trying to get whatever is going on between you and this person or this situation, this company together because you've invested a lot in it. With the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So let's conclude your reading pile number threes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing this deck. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude our pile number threes reading. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude our pile number threes reading. Okay, so we have card number 15, Message in a Bottle. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude our pile number three is reading. We have card number 44, the thinker. So you guys could be seeing 444 too a lot lately. Advice, guidance, and wisdom to conclude pile number three is reading. One more card. Okay, perfect. And we have card number 47, go the distance. Yeah, keep going. I feel like here's the thing. During this solar eclipse, Mercury retrograde, a lot of, there's going to be a lot of deliberation is what I'm getting, right? People are just going to be thinking a lot deeper into what their next move is going to be or what is best for everyone, right? Like the whole, so to speak. And I'm getting, just keep going because you're going to get to where it is that you want to go. If this is like a commitment with a person, you're going to get that. You're going to get that commitment regardless, okay? If it's this person or if it's another person, as long as you stay the course, you're going to get what it is that you've asked for, right? Um, I have a feeling there could be some really good news in, coming in for you too during this um solar eclipse mercury retrograde because we have message in a bottle and i feel like maybe someone is trying to contact you or like they're thinking about you so hard that you feel it and it's like a message that you know you you just you feel them thinking about you this could be someone that like you don't speak to anymore that you're trying to mend a relationship with pile number threes but i feel like Keep going because whatever happens, you're gonna hit your mark. You're gonna you're gonna make it. You're gonna make whatever you want happen happen, okay, and transpire. So this could just be a like a message or there's like a call coming in or like that's going to make everything better. Or like you're gonna know like okay, once this comes in, like I I'm in the clear, so to speak. Okay, so 
you know pile number threes that's all i have for you today my lovely dreamy dreamers if you like this reading if it resonated please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today again if you're interested in a beautiful tarot journal look no further the link to this uh tarot journal will be in the description box down below um it's only 20 bucks and amazon will ship it straight to your house or wherever you would like this ship to okay so i love you all so much my dreamy dreamers and i'll see you in your next reading bye